I think the problem, and this happens with all new technologies, is we're seeing the gold rush right now where everybody calls everything AI, particularly with agents. And I think you can put all these vertical agents together to do all these different things, but agents are just going to be a feature, not a product. Because inherently in AI, as it advances and gets smarter, then it's going to be able to create its own agents for its users and go forward from there. So I've been really hesitant now because, you know, you're not going to invest in, in the foundational models. I mean, through a fund, I have part of um, OpenAI but, and some others, but it's that's just so expensive. You don't know who the winners are going to be, but yet everything that everything that happens is going to be a derivative. Well, of what's your, what's your business intuition tell you about that, actually? So you have this crazy capital raise between closed and open. How do you think that plays out? I think there are going to be um, tens of millions of models. Everybody's going to have a model. Your kids are going to have models. You know, their little um, invisible friend is going to be a model that's in a, a you know, a teddy bear um, that they grow up with. So there's going to be an unlimited number of models. But we don't know who the winners are going to be to host those models. I have no idea. And if you go back over the history of technology, it's that's always the case. Everybody, there's always a race to be the winner for the foundation, whether it was broadband, whether it was networking, whether it was whatever it's streaming, and everybody battles it out. And so it's okay. And I, for me now, I'm just like, let me just wait. Let you me just there's see. A, you think there's going to be... Or a chance at job displacement? What do you think of like this uh, universal basic income cataclysm? I, I think it's the exact opposite. Okay, I explain. Think, yeah. So I think that in order to train a model, you need access to information. And the internet ain't what it used to be in terms of being a source of information. Right. And so IP is becoming more valuable. You're not, I think everybody by this time expected um, all the foundational models to have all this healthcare information. But if I'm Mayo Clinic, I'm not giving Microsoft or Google or OpenAI my IP because that's what brands me. And so there's going to be a lot of money available there. And I think um, that there that has got to be a way to there's got to be a way to figure that out, right? First, how does IP work and how is it distributed? And then how are we using it just in general? We really don't know how we're going to implement it or use it or what the interface is going to be. And all that will be figured out by some kid somewhere. So maybe just to wrap, Mark, so these these next 10 or 15 years, is it about doubling down on these current things, making cost plus thing huge, like harvesting essentially? Or are you going to do new things or is just the bar getting the I, You know, when I'm gone, I yeah. want him to say, mother he did it. It was expensive when we were sick and ain't expensive no more. And right. to me, that's that's the ultimate mission. Now, it's fun to learn AI and you know build models and do all that stuff, right? Um, but when it's all said and done, to me, that's, that's where that's you want your mark.